Hello and welcome to this March newsletter for Vine Trust. My name is Alec Carstairs and I'm the chairman of Vine Trust. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to the news from Vine Trust. It is almost a year now that we have had any volunteers visiting any of the programmes run in either Peru or in Tanzania. And with this lockdown, I am recording this from my home in Bridge of Allen. However, Vine Trust continues to operate and is working very hard on supporting the programmes in, in country and indeed in, in looking at new ideas for the way forward. Some of you may have seen our um, other videos on the families that are now um, living in Kazunzu in the shore of Lake Victoria and it's very exciting to see how these families uh, get to know each other and um, enjoy life in their new homes. We've also got a fish farm that is now uh, operating in, in, the, in the lake and we hope that the first harvest will be in June, July this year. We've had many inquiries from people for, uh, as to when our volunteers will, will start um, being able to go to either Tanzania or Peru. And as yet, we, ha we are still very unclear. We set uh, a few standards um, that we needed to fulfil before we would um, allow volunteers to visit. And these are um, vaccines um, in the UK and the, uh, the vaccine programme is um, moving forward very, very quickly within the UK, which is very exciting. Secondly, we wanted to make sure that there was uh, safety within the country and uh, both Tanzania and Peru have been badly uh, affected by the COVID-19 virus and um, we are not ready yet for um, allowing our any volunteers to visit the programmes yet. And thirdly, we um, any visitors would need to have uh, insurance and that is still not available. However, we are still hopeful that uh, by the autumn, we would be able to uh, provide some volunteering opportunities, especially for some of our, of our medical volunteers. Our focus really at the moment is on fundraising. And um, because this is something that we can continue to do in, in the UK, and we can continue to support our partners in, in Peru and also in Tanzania. You'll see later in this uh, newsletter, uh, 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 details of the Kilt Walk fundraising programme uh, and a little video from Neil Graham, one of our board members. I really would encourage you to support um, us in the, this Kilt Walk. It's a virtual Kilt Walk in April and um, it is an opportunity for all our supporters to become engaged in and support the work of our partners. We're also looking at new ways of um, giving information and uh, of bringing our partners um, into the UK if we can't visit them um, in country. And some of you will have already uh, been part of the Zoom um, calls that we've had where we've had uh, Samuel and Ellie and Elena and a few others from, uh, from our partners who have been um, available to for us to ask questions, for us to get to know uh, them better, for us to hear the news of, of the families and the, the people that, that have been supported in the past. Further, we've, we've also got a, a donation of a, of a large truck and various other mechanical equipment and that, um, and that is uh, on, en route at the moment to Tanzania um, and that will be another way where we have been able to support the initiatives of our partners in the, at AICT in the shore of Lake Victoria. And this truck will be used for the, for the further construction work in the, on the Kazunsu site and will also be hired out to other, um, uh, other uh, organisations and will hopefully be able to raise some money for the um, families that are staying there. So we do hope that you enjoy the newsletter. Please keep in touch with us, keep engaged with us and, and sign up for the, the Zoom calls. And, uh, and most of all, of course, stay safe. Thank you very much.